So just another update in regards to where I am in my whole cochlear journey. So it's now about 63 days since uh, the surgery and about 49 days since um, the switch on date. Um, so continuing to make really good progress. Um, I think things are sort of tapering out a little bit at this stage, but um, I can certainly still see that there's been good progress which is being made. Um, so the biggest thing so far has been um, speech training for myself. Um, I've done that a number of ways. Um, what I'm currently doing at the moment is I've downloaded um, a copy of uh, an audio audio book um, of Stephen King's It. Um, anyone who's read the book knows that um, it's a fairly thick book. Um, I think the printed version was something around about 15 or so hundred pages. So it's a fairly lengthy book. Um, the actual audio book itself goes for something around the vicinity of about 40 or so hours. So um, there's quite a bit of dialogue there. So um, I've been uh, listening to that on the train trip to and from work, um, just via um, headphones or whatnot. And while I've been listening to that through the implant alone, um, I've been following along with the, um, the actual printed version of the book. So um, that's all been going really well. Um, certainly, I mean, knowing that, um, you know, being able to follow the text um, as I'm listening to the dialogue, um, I'm definitely, you know, hearing, you know, the words that are, you know, I'm supposed to be hearing. Um, I've been testing myself a little bit by looking away from the book. Um, if if the dialogue is not too fast um, and not too expressive, um, I can generally follow along with it. Um, I am still sort of getting a little bit lost somewhat. Um, you know, maybe picking out, you know, one in perhaps, you know, three words or so um but look you know i mean it's it's definitely not a place that i thought i'd be um you know somewhere between two and three months here switch on actually having some sort of speech understanding on that side so that's been really good um in terms of environmental sounds um a lot of the sounds that um you know i heard at first you know beeping of microwaves indicators of the cars that type of thing i mean i'm still hearing them um, and now they're just seeming to be more normal sort of sounds. It's, um, <clears throat> I don't seem to be so alerted to the fact that, hey, there's this you know, sound that I'm hearing, which is really good. Um, definitely, um, when I'm hearing people speaking, um, I'm picking up a lot of the, um, the sharper sounds in what they're saying. Um, and I sort of test myself a little bit by, um, you know, turning off the hearing aid or turning off the implant one at a time to sort of see what the difference is that I'm getting from the hearing aid versus um, from the implant itself. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm at a point now that if I don't have the implant on or the sound processor on, um, you know, I definitely miss it. So, you know, that, that's great. I think I'm acclimatising to... Um, everything with having the speech processor and having the cochlear implant really well. Um, definitely have no, um, you know, second thoughts or doubts or like, you know, I, I think this is probably one of the best decisions that I made and, you know, I can't believe it actually took me this long uh, to actually come to this decision. But anyway, um, so that's about it for now. Um, I've got another mapping session um, early May um, and then it'll be another month before the one after that so I've got a few things I want to talk to the audiologist about um, just in regards to uh, just sort of balancing what I'm hearing and um, I've sort of identified that um, the higher frequency sounds I'm really hearing well um, the lower frequency sounds not so much um, just to see whether or not we can do something to boost up those sounds that <clears throat> I'm not hearing that well but um, all in all, all going really well, um, still, you know, ecstatic, uh, you know, about, you know, 
you know, learning all these new things that I'm hearing. I mean, it's, every day I think there's something new that I pick up that I, you know, I couldn't hear before. So um, really happy. Um, that's it for now.